Welcome. In this video, we will be taking a look at our first example for integration by parts. So our formula for integration by parts will start with an integral of u dv, and that will be equivalent to the u and the v function multiplied together minus the integral v du. So the first thing we want to consider is finding a u and a dv in my current integral. Once I have that u and v function, I'm going to want to take the derivative of the u function, call that du, and we'll take an antiderivative of the dv function and call that v. So let's begin by finding these four components. In this question, I want to consider a u function inside my integral that can be simplified by taking its derivative. So the only thing in my current integral that will simplify when taking its derivative will be x. So I'm going to choose x here for my u. And then the dv would become e to the 2x dx. So we can consider our u dv make up the entire integral that we start with here. So now we can move to finding the du function. So the derivative du is just going to be 1 dx, taking the derivative of x, it's just 1. And when you take an antiderivative of e raised to the 2x, well, taking its derivative, we would re rewrite our exponential and then multiply by the derivative of the exponent. But since we're taking an anti, derivative, we want to divide by that constant. So the derivative of the exponent here is 2, so we'd like to divide by that constant. If you want to double check, you can take the derivative of this v function. Um, if you wanted to pause this video right now, take a look at that derivative, and you should find that that um, gets us back to the dv function. So here we have our four components. Um, to remind myself of the formula, if I don't have it on hand, I can always put together a few arrows. And I always put an arrow going diagonally from u to v. That reminds me I'm doing a product from u to v. And then I'm going to do an integral v du. So I'll take an arrow and place it on the bottom from v to du. So let's consider our integral that will be left. I'll do the product of v and u. So that will be x times e to the 2x over 2. So that's my u v product. And then minus, we'll have the integral of e to the 2x, that 2 here can be coming out as a 2 here, but we'll keep it in the integral for right now, just a constant, and then times the du, which we know is dx. So this brings it to a much simpler integral, an antiderivative calculation. We just have to go out and find the integral again of e to the 2x. Notice that the 2 here in my integral is a constant. We can move that out of the constant. And the antiderivative of e to the 2x we just took in our prior step. So we can rewrite this as x e to the 2x over 2 minus will come out as a 1 half for the 2 that's already in my integral. And the integral of e to the 2x here is e to the 2x over 2. So that's the same antiderivative as I took for my dv function. And as always, since we are taking an antiderivative with a indefinite integral, we just add c. So we can simplify this a little bit, uh, making that second term a 4 in the denominator. But other than that, this is the complete antiderivative with the integration by parts technique. Thanks for watching.